I didn't expect this to uh, actually work, but it works. And there's actually Xbox uh, menus and everything. The menus are mostly compatible, at least from what I've tried. I haven't really done anything because I wanted to keep it a surprise for myself. But all I've done is just joined and check out what I've already seen, which is this and the tree. So straight off the bat, it says, warning, this game is early stages of testing. Data may be wiped before alpha. So what this means is any of your progress that you do now may be deleted before the full release. And I'm okay with that. So let's continue going. So right in front of us, we have ourselves the Wood Woods We Are shop. So this is basically where you're gonna go and buy all your stuff. And you're going you get blueprints from here. What's this thing? Oh, what's this? Check it. Blueprint tool increases your building skills drastically. It costs $35 though, so I don't think it's that drastic. But who knows? And um, what I have seen is they don't have images on, but that's probably because it's in early alpha, and I think that's promoted right here with the alpha axe. Which how much is this by the way? The alpha axe is 650. Okay. I was just about to oh what's this? for emergency use only okay uh, I was just about to say I was gonna go and start playing and uh, getting my base like proper proper built out and stuff but like the game is probably going to be erased before full release so I don't want to make so much progress to then want to cry about it after so I'm gonna use this time to test the game uh, I think this works now, by the way. I went on the game yesterday and I tried using this, but I don't think it, it didn't really work as well, but I think it works. I'm not sure. But I think this is a really cool addition because if you didn't just want to use it for blueprints because the blueprints thing is really, really good. So hopefully that works. It does work, that's amazing. There we go, and now you can just take it to the till and put it on the counter like that. So overall it was faster. When I last played it didn't work and it was just faster grabbing it by hand and taking over. But now you can probably, I don't know how much you can stock onto here, should we test that limit? Let's test that limit. Let's test that because we're in early alpha. Let's test things. Um, if I can, ah! <laughs> if I can put it on, I'm not very good. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think I need to adjust my controller sensitivity a bit because I am new to the game. I need to adjust the sensitivity a bit. I probably would compare it to Lumber Tycoon 2 and just put it that way. I can't rotate. Huh. Is there a different button for rotating? No, there isn't. Okay. That's not a problem. I'll just put it on the floor and then pick it back up. That's something they need to add, a rotate thing. Unless it's already here for, oh wait, maybe it's just not for items until you buy it or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, a rotate thing, unless I'm doing this entirely wrong and you're supposed to like, have it like this going across the side I think I might be doing it wrong. Like this. Does it still work like that? Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. So, it's just a bit slow. It is an alpha, so they will improve it, obviously. Um, I don't have any money for this, so we're just doing a annoying things at this point. We're gonna go put this cart... We're gonna go put this cart back like a decent human being. Um, I don't know what happens to these items. Did they disappear? Do we need to put them back on the shelf? Hopefully they disappear. We'll check back in a second. But we're going to go put the cart back. There we go. 
back where it belongs. I put it the wrong way, but I think this looks a bit better. And it's night time. It looks really, really dark. Something they could add is a bit of lighting, unless my brightness is really, really low. But maybe like a lamppost or something around the area. That would be really helpful. What's this thing? Buy some land or something. <laughs> okay, let's go there. So we got this guy. He's called Dummy. So you want to buy some land? Uh, oh, okay, we've got some controller support going on here. Yes, I would. Can I get something or actually no? Let's see what the something is. No. <laughs> okay, we don't have any money for land anyway, so I'm guessing we need to go and get ourselves our first axe. Here's the wood drop-off, by the way, if you guys haven't seen it already. And it looks really cool. It's got the neon glowing green, and I think that's a great addition instead of the fire. I should also mention that everything you see here is completely, completely original. Nothing has been stolen, and I, I believe the Foltio has given the creators of the game permission to create this. What's this? Steel Axe, 190. This is the basic hatchet. This is what we want. Okay, so the basic hatchet, we're going to go put it on the, uh, the table. Chat with David. You sure you want to purchase the ba basic hatchet for 12? Yes, please. So now we have ourselves a boxed hatchet and we're gonna unbox it and we, we're gonna go put it in the store again because we're gonna see it in the light. Okay. It looks like an actual ax from real life. Okay. Let's go to a tree. The moon's going down now, so the sun will be coming up in a minute. That is perfect timing. But here is a tree. And... Okay. Let's chop it down. Is that the sun coming from over the hill? That's amazing. Oh, I like that. That is amazing. That is fantastic. Okay, and I was going to say the leaves do stay on the trees, but I think after some time, they die and they fall off. So we're going to chop down some of this uh, tree. I mean, we've already chopped it down. We're going to chop it up, and we are going... We're going to put it through the wood drop-off. Okay, so the way you put it through the wood drop-off is you just put it on the conveyors, and the conveyors will bring it through towards the fire and they will disappear. That's cool that they fade away, that's nice. So just from that one tree, we have ourselves about $50 or 50 monies. Yeah, 50 monies. And we are able to go into the shop and we are able to buy something. What are we able to buy? What's this? Dynamite? Okay. Um, what's this? Plain axe for 90. Looks like we're gonna have to chop down another tree to upgrade our axe. Uh, what tree should we chop down? We're not gonna choose a big tree in this episode because the big trees take a lot of time. There we go, we've chopped down another tree. This tree is slightly heavy for us to carry actually. It might be because of the leaves, I'm not too sure. But we're going to have to drag it across the floor to the wood drop off and sell it over that way. We'll see in a second. Actually, I think it might just be that it's an entire tree. That it might just be heavy. There, oh yeah, there's also no way to rotate anything either. So, it might not even be heavy. It might just be that I, I can't rotate, but it's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put this tree inside ourselves. And hopefully it should break apart like that. It did, but a piece fell off. There we go. Now it's all sold. 68, we need some more. Are we able to put this entire tree inside? There we go, and it's broke apart. And now we just have to put this one in as well. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. I wonder if there's actually multiple of these around uh, the map. I'm not really sure, but from, from what it looks like, the map is huge and like, I don't see any end from it from where I am. Please do not ride the carts. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, he's got birch wood. Okay. I wonder where you get that. Oh, we have 108 now. We can actually go and upgrade our axe. That's what we're going to do. Plain axe, 90. We're going to take it and we're going to put it there. Chat with David. Are you sure you want to purchase this plain axe for $90? Yes. Okay, so the dollars is the currency in the game. Thank you for the purchase. Come again. I will. Don't you worry. We're going to put it on the floor. We're going to open it up. And now we have ourselves the plain axe. It's a slightly darker variant. I'm guessing it's a stronger type of wood. And it's got a green band instead of a yellow band. I'm guessing it's because it came in a green box. What are these things in the sky? I always look at the sky and I think there's smoke after fireworks have gone off. But it, it's just clouds. So we're going to go and chop down some more trees. I'm going to cut ahead in the video until I have managed to gather up some trees and chop them down. Oh wow, that was faster actually. And the tree is just jumping along towards the wood drop off. See, it's really excited to go there. It's jumping along with, with me. I can jump along, it can jump along. Everyone's having happy days. Okay, let's put it inside of the wood drop-off. Are we able to just shove it in there? No, we have to chop it up. Which is okay, because we have a better axe now. It doesn't take as long. That tree got us to about $81. And did I see a cherry tree over there? I think I did. We're going to go and take that cherry tree, and we're going to chop that down and see how much that gives us. Wow, this cherry tree is actually bigger than the other trees. I didn't expect that. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it is cutting. Oh, it fades. Okay. It's not a cherry tree. Unless this is a different type of cherry tree. I saw the pink leaves and I was like, maybe a cherry tree? I wonder what tree has the darker variant. Maybe it's dark oak? Well, I guess we'll never know. Well, I will know eventually. Oh! It's pink. Maybe it's cherry tree. <laughs> um, let's drag this along with us as well. It's super heavy. My favourite method to drag pieces of wood along is to fly them over me. As in, like, chuck it over my head. This is really hard to take over. Is there any way to like push it over? No. Wait, let's grab this end. No, can we do we have to grab the middle? No. Oh, there we go. Now we can drag it from this end, right? Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on, Mr. Tree. This and this tree, you saw the other tree. It was happy to come with the to me. It was happy to come to me to the wood drop off. But this tree, you can just see it's refusing. But oh, that we got somewhere. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Can we eh, up, up? Come on. Ah. Oh. Okay. We'll just chop it down again. Maybe it's just that the tree is really, really heavy. There we go. And now are we able to take it? Yes. Okay. That's better. I think this tree is too heavy. Or am I just being too lazy? I think I'm just being too lazy. Okay, now let's put it on. So we're currently at 81. Let's see where we get to after. And the final piece of the tree is what is really heavy and that I can't pick up. That's a shame because I think this might be, unless we're able to, did you just hit me with your car? Dude. Unless we're able to put it on the, uh, this thing. 
Yeah, and then we can drag this thing along maybe. Okay, now drag this thing. Okay, it works. No, 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 no. Okay, that, that's fine. We can do this. And then we can do this. And then we can do this, maybe, hopefully. <gasps> yes! Yay! <laughs> okay, yes. That was cool. So this thing, in my use, is going to be getting heavy woods from off the floor. If you can't get your wood off the floor, this is a way to fix that if you want to fix that until the developers have fixed that. But make sure you're a decent human being and put it back where it belongs. Don't just leave it lying around the map because from the looks of it, they don't respawn. And if it did respawn, it would be annoying when you're in the shop for a long time. My opinion anyway. I'm not sure, unless there's a not no despawn area in the shop, but then if people leave it in the shop, it's just got very confusing. <laughs> so we'll go now that we got 240, we're gonna go over to so now that we got 240, we're gonna go over to dummy and we are going to see how much land costs. So yes, I would. Awesome, let's take a look around. So this small piece is only a hundred. I have enough for a piece of land. We're going to put it um, we, oh wait, oh okay, we have to press that button, and then there's that one, 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 and there's a beach as well, okay, so we're going to put our land here, so select is X, and confirm, are you sure you want to purchase this fine piece of soil, of course I would, and it's asking me again, Okay. Oh no, it didn't ask me again. I guess it wanted to... What's this? Hello? Drag object. Click. Can I drag it? No. Can I cut it? No. I wonder what that is. Okay. And we have a sold to Tyler, uh, Tyler underscore gaming 5. Pull out signpost. Okay, cool. We have a signpost. Let's just lay it on the floor in this corner. And let's check out the, oh, what's this? Oh, so this is how we can navigate to other menus if um, you don't know how to get to them. So the way you press this is by pressing the left button under the glowing button, under the glowing Xbox button on the controller, and then you're able to access the above menus. So this one is menu, whitelist, blacklist, send money, get money, change log, credits, and close. Okay, and then we got save slot, we're going to save to slot 1, confirm, and then what's in the settings? The settings doesn't have anything available yet, as of yet there's no setting, but that's okay. And look at the sun, I believe it is rising in a different direction this time. Okay, so I wonder if we got seasons or anything, that would be cool. Throughout the entire winter, you're going to see snow or something. I don't know, maybe. And what's this thing over here? We have a bridge. I'm not going to go over it, but we're going to go have a look at this uh, this little house. It is a toll booth. So you do need to pay to go across the bridge by the looks of it. But I think I can go across it now. Yeah, I guess so. Um, who's here? Who are you? Oh, I guess it's free to go off at go over it as of this moment. And can we access through the door? No. Unless there's a button, but it doesn't have a menu. Let's have a look. No. Okay, that's okay. Remember guys, the game is in early access, so everything may not be working. But it looks like we could probably get ourselves a, f a few, couple free monies. We can. Just drag it over to the wood drop off and we'll get ourselves a lot of money that way.
Anyway guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more gameplay like this from me on the channel. And I've just hit, been hit by a car. I wonder where this guy's going to take us. But if you want to see more gameplay like this on the channel, then leave a comment down below. And I will definitely be making more videos like this. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. I've got blue cars. Green cars, pink cars, purple cars, oops. And we got long pieces of wood. And we got a sawmill tail. And you can adjust the size of it. Okay, that's cool, but I'm going to save this next lot for the next episode. If you did like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!